Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's uh, video, I am doing a speed reviews. So basically I will be sharing all of the products, all of the new products that I tried out uh, throughout August. And I will be reporting back whether they were favorites, whether they were just okay or whether they were fails. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. Funny enough, I actually don't have any fails this month also, which is super exciting. I did try out a good bit of products this month, so, you know, it's kind of exciting. It's always exciting when you find products that, that you know, just work for you. So, because the May category uh, has the least amount of products, this is what I am going to start with. So. The first MET product that I tried out in August is this. This is the Sport FX uh, Raspberry, Raspberry Rubber uh, Moisturizing Lip Balm. Now, I this is just fine. It works okay for, let's say, an hour, but then you would have to reapply it again. I mean, it has a little bit of a tint, so you do have to be careful when you apply it. You can't really go, you know, like this because you just look ridiculous. But it gives a lovely tint. So if you know are doing like a no makeup makeup day, this is actually pretty nice. But you do have to be careful to, um, you know, apply it correctly. And also, it just doesn't uh, provide the hydration that I would uh, want my lip balm to provide. So for that reason, it's just okay next up i have this neobay uh, origin gentle facial toner this is in my skincare project pan at the moment um again this is another thing that's just okay uh, i mean it works perfectly fine to kind of refresh my uh skin before makeup but i don't really see it doing anything else it says this is anti-aging maybe am i looking any younger uh but yeah, this is this is just a fine product to use um, right before you apply makeup, just to kind of you know get rid of any excess oils that you might have on your uh, face. This is just fine. This is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming and Moisturizer. Now, <laughs> I have very mixed opinions about this because um, it looks great under makeup. Uh, it gives a little bit of a glow. Uh, I don't find it very, very moisturizing. So if you have oily skin, this might be something that you might like. However, you kind of look like the tinfoil man because um, it has like glitter particles in it. So when you apply it on your skin and you kind of massage it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it just looks kind of, it provides a glow, but it prov provides a fake glow. You know what I mean? It just looks weird. Like, kind of reminds me of the Catrice 10 in 1, but the 10 in 1 primer from Catrice actually gives, even though it has some kind of shimmer in it, it just looks more natural, whereas this looks kind of fake. I mean, it's fine. It, I think it works perfectly fine with very matte foundations just to give a little bit of that, you know, um, lit from within look. Um, but it's not something that I would be even bothered to have in my collection when I finish it up. So yeah, it's just, it's just okay. And then the last product that I find just fine is this Dr. Botanicals uh, Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask. And uh, this is supposed to be like a very hydrating sort of um, mask that you would put on um, before you go to bed and you would wash up in the morning and you're supposed to have super regenerated face. No, I think uh, what it does is it provides a decent amount amount of hydration but it's not something that you know gives my skin like a drink of water overnight um this is just fine this is kind of acts like a moisturizer to be honest although it is a lot thicker so you know you'll probably have to use less which means less hydration so yeah you have to apply a lot to feel hydration Plus, you know, it's not very long lasting, to be honest. So it's fine for, you know, my needs, let's say. 
but it's not something that I would uh, recommend. Okay, so now for the exciting part, let's talk about all the products that really did work out uh, for me throughout um, August. So I have four makeup products and three body care products. So I think I'm gonna start with those. So the first thing is these this Soap & Glory uh, Color of Fruity Body Butter. I love these body butters. They're so nice. Oh, that. <laughs> This, uh, the smell is so strong you guys um i used one up before it was i think it was the righteous butter uh there are different uh both of them even like the smell obviously is different but also the texture is a little bit different this one is a little bit more airy a little bit more lightweight although it does provide um uh, a decent amount of hydration that I would need for you know overnight when I wake up in the morning I can still smell it and I can still feel it on my skin being you know kind of nicely moisturized it's just a really really good and they always smell so good really really great uh, so when I use this up I will repurchase either this scent or maybe they have another one that kind of smells like cupcakes cupcakes i'm really interested in that i don't think i would repurchase the righteous butter one because the smell wasn't my favorite but any soap and glory body butter will do for me i love them they're really good and they're not that expensive you can catch them on an offer for less than a tenner so really good the next product is not something that i thought i would like but I really enjoy it. This is the Avant Supreme Hyaluronic Acid Anti-Oxidizing Duo Moisturizer. Any product in the past that I had tried from Avant was just average. They were fine. There was no, there was nothing spectacular. They were very, very like expensive for what it was. However, this moisturizer kind of is different. It's I don't know how to describe it. It is everything that I need from a moisturizer. It has a very slight fragrance, like very, oh, very clean fragrance. It actually has a blue kind of tint uh, to it. It's light and airy, but it's mega moisturizing. Oh, it is so 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 nice like when I apply it at night and I wake up in the morning I can still feel it on my skin and not in a disgusting filmy kind of way but in a very kind of supple fresh sort of way it's very very good and um, yeah I can't believe that I would like something from a band as much as I like this um, I would not recommend it because it costs an arm and a leg it's like 90 euro it's not something that i would repurchase ever however if you like bougie things this might be worth looking into because um it's beautiful it just works really really well next up is a foot care product uh this is the napa smooth comfort um foot cream with exfoliating 30% urea this is a new line from silk Air. Uh, this is their new foot care line they have this one they have a lavender one and they have one with a, a, a lesser percentage of urea in it that's a little bit more um moisturizer moisturizing rather than uh, exfoliating but this one works perfectly for my uh, feet i had a sample of the five percent one i used it up it was okay not my favorite it was a fine it just wasn't it, it just wasn't as heavy duty as i would need for my feet now my feet are almost at a hundred percent and i can't believe i'm saying it because i've been struggling with it for about three years now trying to make my feet up to scratch but with the help of products from silk care it has actually worked so I'm super happy. This I use every night makes my feet uh, very smooth, uh, very hydrated, and you know it, it just it just makes them feel really really good. It is something that I would consider repurchasing because of how it makes my skin, uh, my feet feel, uh, and it just it just works. That's all I can say. It works. There's no denying that. So it is time 
for my um, makeup favorites. Uh, so yeah, let's just bring it on. This is the Lacura Take Cover Concealer. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, I personally cannot attest to that because I haven't tried the Tarte Shape Tape, but I enjoy this. <laughs> I enjoy this concealer. Uh, it has a um, big doe foot applicator. I have my one in the shade light. It is way too light for me and you know I am as fair as they come <laughs> when I don't have a tan because actually I don't know if you'll be able to see because of all the lights but I do have a tan you guys. So this was even too light for me when I didn't have as much of a tan so maybe this will work for me the best in winter because as you can see now my under eyes are very very stark um so yeah i love the formula it is creamy it is not drying it has medium to full coverage i wouldn't say it's a hundred percent uh full coverage but that might be because of the shade that i have it's just way too light for me so you know i can naturally just see the um the under eye circles anyway uh but if i can get this in a darker shade like i think they had three shades light medium and dark if i can get it in the medium shade i think i will uh, like it even more Nevertheless, it costs a fiver, provides decent coverage, uh, is not drying underneath the eyes, and you guys, it is not, er, it does not immediately crease underneath my eyes, which is a success. So, I have been enjoying that, and um, yeah, you get loads of product because you get 10 mils, so you know it's not like I'm gonna run out anytime soon, but it's uh. It's a really really good product next up is this this is the becca glow glass i have my one in the shade rose gold i actually got it in uh, tk max not too long ago i was just casually with my friend in tk max as you do and we we're browsing the makeup section and i saw this and i was like i want this i need this uh because it reminds the color reminds me of the fenty uh glass balm the venti glow one which i had used up and i do want to repurchase but i have a couple of um, lip glasses that i want to finish before i uh, do that so yeah i bought this on a whim i probably wasn't supposed to but i have been enjoying it and yeah it's a beautiful color it's a beautiful formula not super sparkly but gives enough sparkle to kind of you know make your lips look pretty it is um Decent, it lasts decently, decently, it lasts, lasts decently on the lips. It's not super sticky, but not super runny either. Uh, it's just a very, very uh, good lip gloss, an everyday lip gloss, to be honest. I have been enjoying it. The next product I also wasn't expecting to love as much as I do. Uh, this is the LOC Liquid Shimmer Shadow in the shade Moonlight. So it is a beautiful taupe. Uh, liquid eyeshadow it is opaque it does not crease uh, it stays in place very well uh, you have a little bit of uh, room to kind of um, play around with it after you apply it but not too much because it does set down very quickly which you know for me is fine I, all I do is apply it take a blending brush blend out the edges just a little bit and then i top it off with a powder shadow anyway because i use this as a base works perfectly for that it is a really good uh cream eyeshadow and i wasn't expecting to love it as much as i uh, do because usually cream eyeshadows they do crease on my eyes because i have oily eyelids but this one passed the test it's very good and the last favorite of uh the month is this this is the uh, charlotte tilbury film Sterm bronze and glow face sculpting and highlighting palette now this is what it looks like you probably know very well what it looks like i received this as a gift from my friend for my birthday and yeah i just love it it's so beautiful uh, it is more on the natural side so i think it is actually perfect for 
those that love a good no makeup makeup look um recently i have actually been wearing those a lot because i just haven't had the time to do like proper makeup and this worked out uh perfectly the highlighter is beautiful because it's a very kind of a subtle um champagne gold looks like that and then the sculpting powder is a very nice neutral uh shade that you know kind of you can use it um both as a sculpting powder and as a bronzer so this is what it uh, looks like it's just very nice it has a little bit of transparency to it which makes it uh, very foolproof and just works uh, beautifully on the skin but that actually completes today's video we did have quite a lot to talk about even though we didn't have any fails which is super great um but we did have a uh, 11 products to talk about which is a lot in my opinion but like i said that completes today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and as you can see this doesn't this isn't moving anywhere and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.